morning. <laughs> we have dragged ourselves away from the beautiful Victoria Falls campground. We really did consider staying the extra night even though we weren't actually going to stay any nights. So yeah, it was beautiful. Definitely recommend going there. But we're actually heading up the hill today. We are going to Mount Hotham and then all the way down. So uh, yeah, that should be fun. We've decided that um, we're not going to stay at Bright. The caravan parks there just seem very expensive. Uh, we're going to try a little um, reserve called Nug Nug. That's right. We've been told about a couple of them. So there's about three that we could sort of look at. And they're, they're around $15 yeah. a, per, a camp a night, That's right. 20, 25 if it's pound. So a lot more reasonable than 50 to 80 to 90 dollars a night, which some of the van parks were. Yeah. There is only a couple of free camps um, and weren't in areas that we sort of wanted to stay this time. So let's see what we've earned. I know, I know, I'm the chauffeur. I gotta look at the I gotta look at the scenery, not the road. No, no you're not <laughs> the way Yeah, because next minute you're in the scenery looking at the road. Go <laughs> where did that road go? Okay, we thought we would check out dinner planes because this was the other camp we were going to come to last night. I know about you came, but I'm super glad we stayed at Victoria Falls instead. It was much nicer. Don't get me wrong, yes, the scenery and what you can do at the other falls is uh, really nice. This is at the uh, Scrubber's End car park, so in summertime you can camp in yeah, this car park. You can pretty much just camp in the car park, right. but there's no one here, so as I can show you. So definitely a spot that you could pull up and camp. Now. A point to note, this is probably the last free dump point for a little while. So if you want to dump, you can use the dump point here. Um, whereas when you get down to Bright and I believe Myrtleford, oh, you have to pay. Or you can take your dump in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is what I have to put up with. Um, I have heard, and I will confirm this later on because we'll need to go, um, at Myrtleford, um, if you go to the information centre, you can get a voucher and you can take that to the caravan park, but I will let you know if that is the case. But yeah, I mean, we were always chasing dump points and water, so yeah, I thought you might Dump points and water are a common thing when you're travelling. Not every day, but yes, we do keep and, a lookout and, a and uh, yeah, make sure that we're aware of where some might be if we're heading in that direction. Because the free camping, like last night, was fantastic and we love doing more of that stuff. Definitely. So yeah, dinner plane, check in there. It's a bit breezy up here. It's actually a little fresh. <laughs> I need to go find a jumper. I'm, and I'm a bit... We've both got shorts on, so... Yeah, uh, I'm a bit nibbly. Oh, get off. <laughs> Are you just getting my face? No, I'm trying to get the view. <laughs> here, there's a pull over here. This is the pull over. <laughs> May came pull over because he's so busy looking at the view. I'm like, if I pull over, you can go have a look. And then keep your eyes on the road. Ah, yes. Do we love the high country? Do, Look, I, I hate mountains, but I love the high love country. I love the feel of it. I love the... Um, the fresh air. The stark contrasts of the trees and the grasses. And, and the flowers. And the views. I'm telling you what, the views are sensational. On a clear day, this would be awesome. But look, it gives it a little bit of character when it's got a little bit of cloud, a little bit yeah, of cold. But at least we can still see. Like We, we can, can still yes. see out there. So yes. Compared to... If I take the glasses off, I can see. <laughs> oh, <don't. laughs> Put 
up with mountains to come to places like this because they are beautiful. Yes, it is. It is pretty specky. It just smells so I know. Nice. Clean, fresh air. It doesn't feels, get any better. It actually, Crisp. It feels like we're back in Tasmania. <laughs> in a way, it, it does clean, feel like fresh. we're back in Tasmania. It's a bit chilly. Why have we not got jumpers probably, on? I know, probably a bit higher. We just went through um, 15. Dinner oh, Plain. Yeah. It, it has got a massive amount of accommodation there. Like when we're in Tassie, there is nothing up there on their ski lifts and that that have that sort of accommodation. Difference being, though, in Tassie, you could probably <laughs> drive an hour from your own house. Yes. yes. And be up in the, in the high stuff, whereas here, a little bit different. But really enjoying the drive so far. The Great Alpine Way, really nice, very scenic. And uh, we're about to hit Hotham and then down the other side. about 1600 meters above the uh, sea level here heading to Hotham and uh, it is fantastic found this little pull-off spot that wow I'm telling you this scenery whoo it would put a jolly on a jellyfish Yep, there is one very heavy little cane right there. How good is that view? And I'm out of the car, so I can't get in trouble for looking around whilst driving. Well, how can we not stop on every road? I know, we're never going to get there because I've literally done about a kilometre. <laughs> <laughs> but, seriously, the, so, the views are amazing. I know, well, one side of the road view, then up the road, another side of the road. I, I, can, I can see more scenic sights up ahead of me, so <laughs> we'll probably just end up doing little bunny hop drives. So we'll be lucky if we get to Harrietville. <laughs> We're stopping at every stop. Well, we made it to the top of Mount Hotham. Look, there's no snow, but it is windy and it is cold. Really, this is just a ski resort and you can see all the lifts and everything where everyone comes here, but there really wasn't a lot to check out. So we're just gonna keep on tracking on and see what's down the other side of the mountain. Literally nothing either side. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we were told about this spot. I love the high country, I love the high country, I love the high country. <laughs> yeah, but, but, good news is it's that bloody foggy. All we can see is fog either side. Check this out. We have this on one side of the road. <laughs> Here's the road. <laughs> and this on the other side of the road. It, it doesn't get better than that. Uh, I reckon it probably looks a little like uh, Graham Cahill's beard down there. I'm trying to get one myself, but that nice bit of grey look. <laughs> I can't turn. Oh my God, we're on the edge of the world. We're on top of the mountain, that's for sure. Sun's come out, look at that. Pretty spec 
me. <laughs> yeah, I, I might just step this up. Now I know this is not the highest point at Mount Hotham, but this is where the road drops off either side. And it's a scary area. <laughs> it's awesome and we'll take a little photo because it's Danny's Lookout, 1705 metres. <laughs> delicious Megginess. Oh, obviously someone didn't make it. <laughs> they magged it all right. They would have magged a lot in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> they would have made a megs. <laughs> are, you, are you doing a Mel thing? <laughs> oh yeah, thank you Mel. We're punning the hell out of this. I don't like this. My side's on the drop side now. Oh yes. Now you can get some good scenery. Paddy. How do you get scenery with your eyes closed? <laughs> Just asking for a friend. I don't know, I've been driving with my eyes closed. <laughs> Looking down. I know. Did Shrek not tell you not to look down? I'm actually getting a bit game now. <laughs> I've been looking. Next thing you'll be hanging out the window. Well, get I had an extra go little look. I had the GoPro out. Don't want to put my body out. That would be stupid. Uh, I'm not stupid. Okay, so Kane, we've made the drive down from Hotham to Harrietville. What are your thoughts? Holy! Nah, it's actually really good. Uh, better, worse than Tassie? Uh, look, longer. It's yeah. a lot, all these, like, because they're bigger mountains. But uh, definitely wider and easier. They just don't feel as steep, apart from the Meg. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> what about the Meg? Uh, the Megs, uh, the old Megster. <laughs> Sorry, Callum. Um, the Meg was a brute. Steeper parts, I went in second gear and just let the car do most of it. Third gear on the levelier parts and the Meg was first gear. <laughs> <laughs> so really, you're saying that you've actually learnt more how to drive the hills than that since we first started. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes, I have. Learn to use the car as well as the brakes. So to share this. We've just come down the Alpine Way and we were freezing our butts off up the top of Hotham. We've now ditched the jumpers and the sun is shining bright. We just left Hotham, got to Harrietville, just cooling off the brakes a little and geez, it's bloody <laughs> if the temperature difference is it's it, hot here. It's hot. Summer's come finally. Hang on. What month is it? March? March. 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 And we've hit summer. Woohoo! These things. Uh, blackberries. Blackberries. Going wild. They're not. Are they blackberries? Well, they actually look a bit like poison berries, don't they? You taste it. Poison berry. <laughs> they actually taste really good. Is it a poison berry? No, I don't know. It's Swedish. I reckon. They're boysenberries because when you put them in your mouth, they pop. Mm. 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 Good. Yum. Good. Might camp here tonight. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> eat their boysenberries. Bit of a ripper of a spot. Oh yeah, check out Nug Nug, 25 a night. 
For power. Got power. There is water. <laughs> it's, there's cold showers and toilets and that here, but obviously we've got our own and a uh, sweet deal just outside of Myrtleford. Myrtleford. Yeah, so we can day trip to Bright, um, Mount Beauty. We want to do Mount Buffalo. Um, Beechworth. Beechworth. Why are we going to Beechworth? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we're going to Beechworth. We need some more Bilsons. <laughs> we're going to be checking them out. Oh, and have we got enough room to put two cartons in? Because I don't know if one carton will be enough. Well, to be honest, a lot of people crap on about weights, but that's all going to go out the window when it fills up with Bilsons. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can get all the different varieties when I go to their work, to the furry thing so yeah I'm gonna stock I, up I, big time. I told her to give up coke she's drinking too much so <laughs> she's gonna substitute it with Bilson's. Bilson's. As I drink coke Bilson's <laughs> is my next best option. Yeah, it's gonna become the new breakfast drink. <laughs> yeah coke, coffee, now nah, we now have Bilson's. I would love to say proudly sponsored by Bilson's, but no, unfortunately not. I have to pay for my own. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll be stocking up on that. Other people go to wineries, breweries, and up. I head to Bilson's. Good old sweet cordial flavoured drinks. <laughs> They're delicious. Uh, camp's just up there. And we have our own little private entrance to the river. Oh, it just got a bit fresh down here. Uh, yes, yeah, so well, we're going to kick back and relax for yeah, our we'll, first night in Nug Nug. We will. We'll take a few days just to enjoy ourselves here. I've already had a little dip in the stream, a bit fresh, but um, nice. There's some blackberries down there. They're actually quite tasty too. There's some apple trees around here. I did have a taste of one of them. A little bitter. <laughs> they <laughs> little were bitter, not so tasty. I, I've been taste testing everything. And for the win, if you want a good campsite, you're visit. in this area. Nug Nug's a great one. And definitely central to everything. They did tell me it's a bloody long weekend again this weekend in Victoria. <sighs> God, do these buggers even work down here? And he told me it's going to be find a piece of grass on the weekend. So I tell you, when you're working, you love holidays and long weekends. But gosh damn it, when you're travelling, they are the worst. I know, this is a huge area too and they said if it looking for a piece of grass that means it is going to be packed yes we are at nug nug nug, nug nug's an awesome spot we seem to love towns with yep. weird names but yeah nug nug victoria that's and right huge area we are going to do some filming we're going to show you all the goodies yep. to yep. make sure you get down here we're going to show you everything yep. you need to check out in this area that's so right. make sure so you stay make, tuned yes subscribe like do all the good stuff <laughs> and We'll take you places. What we do for a good shot. You wanted to see the view? So make sure you can see the view. Yeah, I can't see anything. <laughs> <coughs> so nug nug for the tick. <coughs> make sure you call can through. You do that bit again because I coughed. Sorry. <laughs> Really, you always. We're not. In, we're not in bed trying to sleep right now, so no coughs. <laughs> Go again. Nug nug for the win. Get yourself down here. I say that catchphrase. Bad cane. <laughs> well, welcome back to the next next episode. Next episode. <laughs>